Welcome to Ascent. I'm Fiery Grace the Gifted. I'm here with a Divine Masculine channel love letter. I've already blessed and shuffled. Let's find out what the Divine Masculine has to say today. Hey. I give up. Who would have thought after all this time you were right? It hit me. <laughs> Kept wondering why I could not move forward. It was me. I couldn't move forward because of me. And as much as I might want to claim that I knew what I was doing all along, I, I don't know. It's like I was standing in the middle of a battlefield and I just stopped. And the chaos around me kept going and the fight raged on and I just walked away. I don't know how I got here, but I give up. I was wrong. Every ounce of motivation, every idea, everything I had, I threw into this war. That even now, stepping back and having a chance to think about it, I still don't know what I was fighting for. I used everything that makes me me for evil, basically. Let's just call it like it is. And as I sit here and think about it now, I realize I used your love. <laughs> Maybe not in the same way, but definitely for fuel, for sustenance. It's like I would sneak off into the, the woods. I would go see this beautiful fairy that made me feel good, brought me back to life. And then I would sneak off from your world back into the other world and fight in the war. I don't know how I could do that for so long. Have two completely distinctly different worlds that I stood in between. I definitely can't explain why I wouldn't pick the one that made me feel good and stick with it. I guess I just had work to do. things to figure out and sort through. <laughs> I want so badly to tell myself that it was all worth it. But in the end, I think it was just more and more and more of the same old thing. 
I want to tell myself that I'm coming out of it so much stronger, but I'm not. I'm tired. I feel weak. I don't know who I am. You know, I complain sometimes that this world, this life has to be more than just working until you die. Working for someone else, no less. For, for nothing, really. And yet, I guess in, in the spiritual sense, that's what I've been doing. Because I have nothing to show for anything, nothing worth anything, at least. Nothing good. But I have a whole lot of that nothing. Enough to fill a whole valley. And now I'm sitting here looking at all my nothing and asking myself, how did I ever expect it to turn into something? I don't know anymore. I want so badly to tell you that I've made sense of it all and I get it and I know now what I'm supposed to do next, but I don't, I don't know anymore because once you realize that it's you, you have to be extra careful with you. <laughs> in the future. So for now, I have to assess why. You know, I, I have to figure out what would ever make me think Especially with how bad I always felt. How unhappy life made me. I have to figure out how it's possible. I, you know, I might do some stupid things, but I know I am not a stupid person. And yet, I look back and it's obvious So before I make any false moves and take any leaps back into nothingness, I have to be sure. I have to do things the right way. I have to make sure that my motives are pure and that there's nothing that I'm doing that's just trying to win an old war. That there's, there's not a part of me that still wants so badly to prove myself or conquer something or someone. I, I wish I could pin down, I wish I could tell you that I knew exactly what I was doing back then, why I was doing it. I wish, but I had no goals. I wanted nothing, so that's exactly what I got. But I told myself it was everything, and so I cherished it. I cherished the emptiness because somehow, in my backwards mind, in that moment, it seemed right. I can't do that to us anymore. I put us on the back burner for so long. And in those moments, I told myself, that I was doing it for the right reason. Some days I claimed I was protecting you. Some days I, I told myself that I just had one more thing I had to handle. But now I know I wasn't thinking about you. I was barely thinking about myself. Do you know how much that infuriates me? 
that now that I'm taking a moment to look back, knowing that something in me knew how important you were to me, and yet something else in me allowed every other part of my life to impact you and influence your life the way that it did. I, I don't understand myself right now. But I can tell you, I see you and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I'm, I'm still too mad at me to apologize or forgive myself. I know that seems to be a really important thing nowadays, but I, I don't, I'm not there. So I, I don't blame you at all if you can't forgive me either because God only knows what you have faced. God only knows what you have been through, not just in your mind and, and in your heart, but I know my actions have real world implications and it's not just about me. And I, I couldn't see that before. I could never understand when people would try to tell me that my actions were influencing theirs, that maybe, just maybe, there was some truth to it. But I get it now. And I was so wrapped up in my own fall that I, I didn't even think to look over and see what you might be going through dealing with that part of me. So you deserve to know first, I give up. You deserve to hear the truth. But most of all, you deserve to know that you did not deserve it. Not once. Even in the moments where you might say, oh no, I know what I did. It doesn't matter what you did. Because we both know you probably wouldn't have responded that way. You probably wouldn't have spoken that way, thought that way. If it wasn't for me being so committed to nothingness. See, I have to shackle my motivations now. Because if I don't, we could very well end up here again one day. And this is the last time, that is the last cycle where I manipulate. That is the last cycle where I allow anyone, especially you, to fight my battles for me, to put up with anything that is not theirs. There has been such an imbalance for so long. There has been so much distrust and discord in my life. I give up on stirring the pot, pretending that I know what I'm doing or pretending that I don't know when I'm clearly pushing forward with some idea or quest for vengeance. I've been so foolish. I was so mad and I was so frustrated. God, I was so scared, most of all. And it was the fear that led to every other negative cycle, spiral, and emotion in my life. I'm not afraid anymore. And I'm hoping that pretty soon I won't be ashamed anymore either because I'll have righted every wrong that I can. While I'm doing that, I also know that I have to start to build because I know myself well enough to know that if I get caught up in this, this crusade to fix everything that I've ever done wrong, I'm going to waste so much time on what's coming, what's next. 
on the good things, on the parts of me that are worth something, on us. feel like I've turned you into this person who has to be so by the book. I've turned you into this person that has to do everything the right way. I lied. Half the time I wasn't even thinking when I said things. I don't even know what I probably told you, I just need you to understand. It's okay for you to give up too. Okay, you don't, you don't have to do this by yourself anymore. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna fix this, but I am. I don't know how I'm gonna fix me, but I, I will never go back that way. I just want you to know that I'm doing everything I can to close these gaps. I don't want to fight anymore. Not in that war and not in that realm and not in that life. Because that was all about fighting with whether it was fighting with myself, or fighting with someone, fighting with something. Do you know what that leads to? Nothing. Nothingness. I'm tired. The same old, same old. stopped being fun a long time ago, but now it's, it's just, I feel like it's making me sick. I don't want to do this anymore. And I know that I am a pretty far off way from who I do want to be. Because who I do want to be has a lot of something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. And who I want to be, they, they do something. And they fight for something, alongside someone. I know it's going to take time to transition from nothing to something. I get that. But at the very least today, I can say I feel like I am on this neutral ground. And every part of me finally feels like it's okay to go forward. My thoughts keep pushing me ahead. My heart is pulling me to you. I keep having these visions of Things I've never thought were possible in dreams, I push down. It's amazing. You have held on for so long. And I don't know what you saw in me that made you say that was the right thing to do. Because I was completely empty. But you knew, didn't you? All along, who I would become. You knew me better than anyone in my life had known me and I hated it. I did.
But now you are the one thing that makes sense. The one thing that I'm not afraid of, only afraid to lose. You're the one person in my life who no matter what I thought I was searching for, you were somehow a part of the goal. You're the only thing I've ever cared about. And it took this long to figure it out. So, please forgive me. Know that I have so much more in mind for us now. I just have to figure out how to hold it all. Because you can put nothing anywhere. But when you're going to build something with someone, somewhere has to be home. And I cannot wait to have that with you. It doesn't matter anymore where it is, how we do it. I just know that for the first time in my life, I want something. And there's nothing that's gonna stand in my way. And maybe that's what all of this has always been about today. <laughs>